Hello, my name is Kathy, and today I'll be talking about issues that can occur during the menopausal process. It's helpful to understand that the menopausal period can start as many as five to eight years before the actual cessation of your periods and take as long as five to eight years after your periods end before your system finally balances itself out. The first thing to remember is that it's important to maintain a good and healthy diet all through your life but in particular through your menopausal years and to make certain you are supplementing your diet with vitamins and minerals. At this time of life it is also important to increase the calcium, magnesium and zinc levels of your supplementation program to offset these mineral losses through the changes in hormone levels that happen during these years. Having said this, the issue of fluctuating emotions through the course of a woman's menopausal years can be a very difficult problem for a lot of women and for the people that share their lives. A proper diet and limiting things like alcohol or caffeine can make a world of difference in normalizing the heavy mood swings that can occur at this time of life. There are also a number of herbs that are very beneficial to help with mood swings. The first is St. John's Wort. I cannot recommend another herb in my herb cabinet that I could think of that it could be better. If you are feeling moods of fear, depression, anxiety, and things of that nature, take one teaspoon of powdered St. John's Wort with a glass of plain water and you will feel your normal self in short order. I know this is dry and it's horrible for a moment, but the results are well worth it. The herb borders on the miraculous in what I've seen it do for people. I have gotten people off of decades of use of antidepressants and mood elevator prescription drugs with the help of this magical herb. It truly is amazing. When you first start, stay, start taking St. John's Wort, take one teaspoon of the powder with a glass of plain water once in the morning every day. If, you, if your issues are more severe, or you're just going through an, uh, a real rough patch, then take it two or even three times a day until you begin to feel re relief. Once that starts to, ha starts to happen, cut back on your intake. If you were taking three teaspoons a day, cut down to two teaspoons a day, then one teaspoon a day, and then a half a teaspoon a day. When you reach the point of a half a teaspoon a day, then start to skip days until you don't need to use it regularly anymore. At this point, you just use it when you feel the onset of a mood swing issue. One teaspoon and a glass of plain water. The next herb to use is passion flower. This herb is wonderful for battling anxiety, nervousness and insomnia in some people. When you first start taking passion flower, you would take one teaspoon and steep it in a cup of boiling water for five minutes and drink. To start, you would drink one cup of this tea about one hour before your bedtime if your issue is insomnia. If you want to use it to help with nervousness and anxiety, then you would drink the tea two to three times through the day. The same treatment as for St. John's wort would apply here. Start off, start off taking the passion flower tea two to three times each day. Then cut it back to two times a day. Then one time a day. And then try to skip days until you no longer need it. The next herb to use is ginseng. This is an ancient and most well-known herb. It improves your resistance to stress. It also increases your stamina and endurance and improves your overall health and vitality. You take a half a teaspoon of powdered ginseng root and a glass of plain water once a day. Do this on and off, on and off and on schedule through the year. Uh, for example, you do two or three months of everyday ginseng use and then you take a month off. Then another two to three months of ginseng use and so forth. Don't take it every single day for the rest of your life. Kava Kava is another item to try for mood swings, anxiety, and insomnia. 
It is the powdered root that is used here, but it has to be treated first to extract the active ingredient. Because of this, it's best to buy a prepared Cava Cava product and follow the instructions on dosage that is listed on the label. This is because processing methods vary, and because of this, dosages will vary as well. The next thing that springs to mind is the legendary hot flashes and night sweats of the menopausal years. First, it's important to determine if what you are experiencing is, in actual fact, the hot flashes and night sweats associated with menopause. A hot flash can appear suddenly with virtually no warning at all, or you may be given a sensation that uh, they're about to come on. So what does a hot flash feel like? It is a feeling of intense heat that is not caused by an external source. You feel a uh, tingling in your fingers, your heart beats faster, your skin suddenly feels warm, your face gets flushed and, and or actively bright red in color, and you feel yourself sweating, especially in the upper part of your body. Many things may trigger a hot flash. Some common things are the drinking of alcohol, excessive caffeine, spicy foods, being in a hot room, feeling stressed or anxious, wearing tight clothes and materials that don't breathe, smoking cigarettes, or being exposed to secondhand smoke. There are many more triggers that may be unique to you, so keep a journal and record what tends to trigger yours and then avoid those triggers if at all possible. When I went through my menopausal years, I ate a great deal of tofu, which is a soy-based food, and I never suffered with hot flashes or night sweats. I did have some mild mood swings, though, from time to time, though. From personal experience, I would recommend including soy products in your diet at this time of life. Some herbs that are very beneficial to use are black cohosh, red clover, and evening primrose oil. We'll start with black cohosh. Now, black hosh, cohosh is the root, it's the roots and rhizoms that you use. This is a powerful menopausal herb that helps to balance the hormone levels of the female body. It is important to follow the directions on the package of black cohosh that you obtain as the amounts needed can vary from one manufacturer to another. The next herb is red clover blossoms. This is made into a tea by taking one teaspoon of the powdered herb and mixing it with a cup of boiling water and allow it to steep for five to ten minutes. This is a wonderful soothing and calming herb for the entire female reproductive system. You can drink up to four cups of this tea each day during the worst phase of your transition. The next item to consider is evening primrose oil. This is a wonderful oil that supports the entire female reproductive system. It is important to follow the directions on the package of evening primrose oil that you buy as the amount needed can vary. Don Kwai. This herb has a long history of traditional use in Chinese medicine. This herb helps to minipo minimize menopausal symptoms in combination with herbs such as black hohosh, Don Kwai appears to be useful for controlling hot flashes and reducing vaginal dryness. Vaginal thinning and dryness and painful in intercourse are next on this list. The first thing to try is wild yam cream. This product is applied topically to the skin and many have found relief with its use. The next thing is black cohosh, which was discussed under the hot flashes segment of this discussion. After this comes kudzu. Yes, kudzu. Many women have found that taking this herb daily for a minimum of six months has helped their issues with vaginal dryness and helps to restore vaginal tissues to health. And then there is soy products. Soy products will help the health of the vaginal tissues and in many cases can be helpful in eliminating dryness of the vagina. Homeopathic remedies are really, really good for menopausal symptoms, and we'll cover that in the next video. 
Well, that's it for now. To stay up to date with my latest videos, make sure to subscribe to this free YouTube channel by clicking the red subscri subscription button right below this video. Take care and stay naturally healthy.